guys all doing well. Um, today is, yeah, let's get close to Valentine's Day, let's get you guys ready, let's teach you guys how to do a nice rum steak, just like my wife likes a nice rum steak. Yes. So we have a rum steak with mashed peas and a bit of gravy, guys. At the moment, I've got my pan on with my olive oil in, heating up on the pan, it's lovely and hot. So I'll put that down on low heat while I talk to you guys. So you want your pan nice and hot guys. It's going to cook, cook it green there with your oil in for about three to five minutes. Get nice and hot because you want to hear that sizzly sound when you put the steak in guys. So I'm going to season these guys. Your nice rum steak. Going to eat some garlic. Some salt, some pepper. I used to have, oh, what do you call it, Pearly? I'm always getting out of it. Chive. Chive? Chive. I said chive. Usually put it in, but I didn't have any at the shop the front out. No, two sucks. She might have some, I don't know. So, yeah, so it's good for your loved ones or your partner. It's totally up to you guys what you're going to do with it. You can have chips with it. I'm going to attach homemade chips video into it. Into the, at the end, so look out for that if you guys want to do homemade chips with it or just pick some normal chips up. It's totally up to you guys. We're having mash, we're having peas with us, with a bit of beef gravy. Go on, let's get started, guys. Go on, I haven't got the pepper I wanted to use, guys. So, before we start seasoning the steak, I'm going to get the garlic ready. All I'm going to do is chop it up, push it. I'm going to use three. Of clovers, put it over to one side, crush, take it off, take the skin off, guys. That's one side. I'm not even going to chop it up, guys. But you'll see why in a bit. Chop that up. There we go. That's one. Push it a bit. Oh, bottle fingers today, guys. Don't know what's up with me today. I've got fingers. I haven't been very well, guys. A little bit. I've caught it looking cold. My son's had it, caught it from somewhere. And now I've got it. A cough and sore throat. So I hope you guys can understand what I'm saying. Because I know my accent can be quite strong. No, we don't need that. So I'm going to do. Just chop the ends off, just like so. And that's all I'm going to do with that, guys. I'm not going to chop it up at all. Put it to one side. You're also going to need butter. So that's all I'm going to use, guys. That uh, is salty butter, guys. I'm going to put in with it. Sort of stuff you're going to use for baking your breads. So we'll put that in little cubes. So that's ready. To go in guys, I'm gonna move them out of the way. Voila, there you go. Just time to do that steak guys. Get the steak. Check it out the packing guys. So there you go guys, got the steak on the power on the board. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get some sea salt. Whoop, swing it round. See if you guys can see. Can you guys see? Yep. Yeah. So guys. All we do is sprinkle up some on. So we go. Right up today. There we go. Sprinkle it on. Wait a minute off there guys. So bear me from a bit. Do you love it? Yep. Spread it on. Rub it into the stack, guys. See the same again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it over. The other side. These stacks are very great. It's a bit dodgy stack still. I'll turn it on. 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 What I do is grab my pepper, my black pepper. Usually I use the ones you guys go grind down guys. But I've run out of that. So I've noticed I've run out of 
quite a few stuff got a right shopping list yeah you get some more to stock up guys see the cookie share and do my cookie because I also cook for some stuff as well you're always in the kitchen yep Never I'm going to start doing baking soon guys, Mrs. has taught me in slip to go back and do my baking. Boy, oh, so sad. So I was going to wait a little bit longer while I go, you know, because I weren't really happy yeah. the way the kitchen is. I think, you know, I'm going to do it properly for you guys. So I thought, you know what, let's get on with it, let's work around it. We all, try. we all have to work around stuff. So remember, before you start seasoning your, your steaks, uh, make sure you take them out of the fridge before you take them out of the fridge before 20 minutes before you're going to start cooking them guys leave them a little bit extra for half an hour at room temperature guys and absolutely fine then so I'm going to warm the, the oil back up because now sorry if you guys hear a special it's time to start cooking our steaks so guys, that's nice and hot guys, that's been on for about 10 minutes for me. How much lot of steak love? So I'm going to pack it on, away from me so it don't spit. Lovely enough. So I'm going to do mine first, while some of the wives first, then mine. So all I'm going to do every minute guys, is I'm going to turn it over. Every minute turn it over and it should evenly cook so it's at a medium temperature put my cooker on. I'll tell you what love, I'm going to cut these off. Sorry guys, I'm just going to put that in the middle. Don't do that guys. So I'll have my pick and move now up. So I'm going to turn it out, it's been about a minute now. I'm going to whack it over. Just like so guys. So it's lovely enough. Pieces of those. So my wife's nice and medium. Well done you actually, isn't it? Yeah, well done. So well done. I don't mind your awesome loving. So bad guys. So a minute over to the sweet in the guys. All I'm going to do guys now is carefully put it on the side, hold it on a handle, get the juices in there, just on the side to get the fat, cut down a bit, burn it down a bit, whack it back, just on the side, now I'll flip that over, clear it back. Butter, garlic, whack that in guys. Nothing's going to burn with the oil and the thing. So we move that around. Get that, the butter melt. Are you about to smell the garlic coming up now guys? Whoop, I've got one. One flew at me. So just care as you do. What I've done is put the garlic on top. We give it a nice rub around. Just get the taste in. I'm going to flip it round. That looks like well done, guys. Just the way my wife likes it, or your father likes it, like this. Going to cut that again, the other side for another bit and that'll be ready. Make sure you have a plate, ready to go. That's ready. Very carefully slide the juice off guys. I'm going to bring my plate over. I'm going to whack that on the plate. That's good enough for my wife. Ok 
Okay, remember, always go away from you. So I want to keep that in, keep the juices in. I'm going to cut my steak just the way I like it, guys. Okay, guys, so I thought I'd show you guys. So that there is the one about the gravy. So what it will look like. Let's take it around for you guys. So let's get that out of the way. So it's mine there. Lovely. Bit of mash. Nice. And you got the one. Steak mash with a bit of gravy. Lovely guys. That's the wipes. That's mine. So yeah, so that is your nice and romantic dinner. Did that done for your partner or your loved one, guys? Me and the wife are going to sit down at the table, have a nice steak meal, I'll show you what it looks like with the gravy, and I'll show you guys what it looks romantic. So I hope you guys it's helpful for how you guys cook it. Everything should be in the description. Yeah, so check check there guys, the times and how to cook your steak, I'm going to put them up there guys, so hope you guys enjoy it, hope you guys are well, happy Valentine's Day, hope you guys enjoy yourselves, it's the most important thing, stay ghosty guys, and just remember, after this guys, it'll be the vlog is it love? Yes. So the vlog will be going up, so we'll start filming that soon, we started filming it where? Yes. Yeah. We have started filming it, just have to double check where we are. So, hope you guys enjoy it. Catch up. And don't forget to stay ghosty.